What's good everybody? Uh, today's video is a follow-up on the previous uh, tutorial video that I've done uh, where I've showed you guys on how to set up a static IP address for your Xbox One console. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys on how to enable couple, enable several ports for the Xbox One console, where it will ensure maximum compatibility and connectivity performance over Wi-Fi, uh, thus eliminating the purpose of it being disconnected from several games which are published by Activision, such as Destiny, a recent game, and a really old game called Diddy Ghosts. Many of us suffered uh, over Wi-Fi connectivity where you would get disconnected two minutes to five minutes into a game. So uh, I hope this probably would resolve the issue that wasn't fixed by the previous tutorial. Unless it was fixed, then you don't have to watch this. But if it wasn't fixed, then you must watch this and enable these ports on your router. Now, to enter your specific router, uh, there, there are several different settings to go into it. So my specific router is by Virgin Media. And to enter it, you simply have to type in 192.168.0.1 and press Enter. And you, you're popped up with this page where you're then asked to enter a password. By default, it's change me. And once you enter that, uh, you'll be into uh, the, the, the uh, router settings. Okay, it's not letting me in. I gotta try this password out uh, once we're in. Okay, so we're into the router now, and I'm presented with these three quick settings here, which is not what we need, so I need to go into advanced settings. Once you're in advanced settings, I will recommend scrolling all the way down to port forwarding. So when you click on port forwarding, you're presented with this screen here. The purpose of this screen is to enter the ports for the Xbox One console along with destiny ports to help you uh, connect to games, uh, uh, connect a specific destiny game. Now, to do that, you must follow my previous video that where I've showed you guys on how to do a static IP address setup for the Xbox One. I'm not going to go over it again, and this video is going to be too long. So you must watch that video, and the link will be in the description as well. Uh, once you once you have set up a static IP address, you will then follow up the IP for, for the Xbox One console, and you type it in here. In, in my case, it's 18. So you put 18 over here, and then you go up here into services. You leave that as services and type in the name. As you can see from here, I have ports. So I got port, port 1, 2, 3, all the way down to 6. Now these ports are for the Xbox One ports. Where it says COM, those are for Destiny ports. Now I have these in the description as well, so you don't have to copy them from the video. They'll be in the description for easy access for copying them and pasting them into your uh, predefined rule. But just to give you an overview on how to do this, you will enter a name uh, to help you keep them separated so you don't forget what you've entered. Uh, for the Xbox One or for the game itself. So to do that, you put a name in. So if it's for the Xbox One, I recommend putting something as port or something else that you remember. So you put in a port, you, put, you, get, you give it a name, you put start port, which will be 53, and your end port has to be exactly the same. So say 53 and 53. So that is a starting and end port. And then you select a protocol uh, that is that will be mentioned uh, in the description as well, such as here it says TCP and UDP, unless it's single. So you would change it to specific TCP, UDP, or TCP and UDP, if it's both. And you enter the IP address uh, 192.168.0.18 and you click Add Rule. Once you click Add Rule, it will be added down here. In my case, it's not happening right now because I already have it here. So it's not going to happen. And once you've entered all these ports, what you do is you click Apply. Uh, you will click Apply, Save the Settings. Mine's grayed out because it's already been applied to the router. And you will save it, and then you will uh, close the browser down, and you will go down and reset your router. And then, once you've reset your router, let your Xbox One connect to the uh, router, and it should then work because the ports have been enabled, uh, and it should not disconnect from uh, any of the Activision games, the ones that are already out and the ones that are currently due to come out. So... Uh, I wish you guys all the best. Give this a try. And if this helps, uh, please do subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions or troubles. And I'll try my best to get back to you. Peace out.